So No More Heroes 3 is finally out after what felt like a really long time <laughs> since uh, the second game was a, a Wii title, right? And anyone who's, you know, a good friend of mine is aware that I am a pretty big fan when it comes to No More Heroes. So obviously I felt like it was necessary to kind of just do a impressions video. Uh, I haven't beaten the game because I'm essentially just trying to do everything I can. I also, I'm taking my sweet time playing the game because I don't really want to just finish the game and then have it be over. I want to, you know, really take my time with it and really, you know, fully embrace everything the game has to offer. And so the point of this video is basically just to get my raw thoughts out there as of now uh, playing through the game. So I wouldn't consider this to be a end all be all kind of video when it comes to No More Heroes 3. So the first thing I want to point out, uh, I think is the obvious thing. Uh, and that is essentially, don't judge a book by its cover, the technical issues, right? I think that is the most glaring and obvious thing uh, to criticize when it comes to No More Heroes 3 because it is pretty obvious. Like it isn't really something that could be hidden. There is a clear technical issue with the game uh, where it just doesn't look very good when it comes to the open world segments. It is uh, very low frame rate, a lot of popping. Uh, the game just has a lot of technical issues uh, when walking around or driving around the open world segments. Interestingly enough, even though it was kind of a controversial choice to do so, uh, No More Heroes 2 uh, actually got rid of the open world when it came to the open world that they had in No More Heroes 1. They got rid of it in favor of like a menu system. At the time, I felt like that was a good move because the open world in the first game didn't really do anything. You kind of, there was really no point to it. <laughs> like a menu could have easily sufficed and clearly no, uh, no More Heroes 2 did do that. Uh, the only thing you can really do in the world of the first game was to collect these little balls that would be used for, you know, like upgrades and stuff like that, right? In No More Heroes 3, they go back to the open world idea and they do add more things in the world to do, which is why it is a better world than the original game. Uh, however, the problem now is that the open world doesn't run very well. Um, we're talking a lot of pop in, we're talking low frame rate, all the, all the stuff that I mentioned previously. Uh, that is something that uh, if you are someone who is very sensitive to those kind of things, that could be something that's very jarring and can be a little bit of an issue. Earlier, I said don't judge a book by its cover. Main reason why I say that? Well, the game is fantastic. <laughs> the game is actually really good. If you're someone who's able to get past those technical issues, the game is so much fun. The only thing that maybe gameplay-wise isn't as strong as the others is that in the other games, you could fight like 20 to 30 guys. In this game, you don't really do that, but the enemy variety is so much better. In the previous two No More Heroes games, you essentially just fought guy with gun, guy with uh, melee weapon, and really big guy. <laughs> and that was kind of like the enemy types for the most part. And then in No More Heroes 3, we have your, your cannon fodder-like enemies. We have enemies that are... Uh, more like dependent on projectiles. We have enemies that are the fast like melee weapon users. We have enemies who are practically like almost like mini bosses <laughs> and uh, they go really hard into it. I think so far anyways, boss mechanics have been uh, pretty interesting. I think the, uh, the combat is also the best it's ever been in the franchise. You're doing a lot more because of the addition of like death drive abilities where you can kind of like slow down time, uh, create like sort of AOE damage effect. It's kind of like force push. There's also a drop kick. And in general, when you combine your, you know, heavy light attacks, uh, your death drive abilities, there's just a lot more, you know, depth to the actual combat encounters. And when you combine that with the better enemy variety, I don't feel like the less enemy count is really all that much of an issue, especially with some of these enemy types being so annoying to fight <laughs> that if there was like 20 to 30 of them, I feel like it'd be extremely overwhelming and just way too much. 
especially with the uh, the, the projectile enemy type. Uh, they have this specific ability where they can kind of put these like explosive balls all over the stage. Um, and if there was like 20 to 30 guys doing that, the amount of like <laughs> the amount of explosives that would be on the map would be way too much to even be able to control any of it. Now, of course, uh, No More Heroes 3 does have the typical No More Heroes humor, or I guess I should just say like the, the pseudo 51 humor where like everything's just wacky. Everything's just weird as hell and just entertaining all throughout the humor is still there. The humor is like, hilarious. I think like one of the biggest things that, you know, hits me <laughs> in terms of humor when I think of the game is that almost like the very beginning where like it starts off with like this sort of video game um, parody of sorts and then it goes into this whole thing with the cat uh, Gene having this totally different voice that even was thrown off by even Travis and the humor is still there it's hilarious I don't want to go into like every little joke because I feel like if I have to explain a joke it's no longer funny <laughs> so like um, I don't want to go too much into that and you know the crazy thing is, is that you know despite uh, the game clearly not taking itself too seriously and having a lot of these humorous moments is that when the game wants to get serious it does get serious it's not just this haha -ha comedy game like it also has scenes where very serious things happen that made me care like seeing my characters go through so many different things and it's just really entertaining right to be able to like see these characters take them seriously one moment and then you know due to the context like they're saying something really funny later on and it actually hits me like i actually do laugh and i actually do care about these characters so it's it's really good <laughs> like i think that's like the general idea like the humor is good it, uh it hits uh most of the time when they make a joke uh when it gets serious i actually care often enough that the game you know does a good job with that and i didn't even get into the soundtrack which is fantastic so far um, not a lot of the boss themes, uh, typically when I like No More Heroes music, it's usually tied to like boss themes, like if you've seen my video about like music in No More Heroes, the examples I gave was pretty much like praising Dr. Peace's song uh, from No More Heroes 1 and also like Bad Girl song from No More Heroes 1, um, the uh, Philistine song from No More Heroes 2, there's just a lot of really good boss songs before and so far the good songs in No More Heroes 3 doesn't really seem to be tied to the bosses, but ironically enough, tied to just like the everyday things you're doing. <laughs> like, I like the song when you're riding around with your bike in the uh, open world. Uh, I like the song when you're just kind of walking around the laboratory. It has like this really like cool beat to it. Uh, but the best song in the game, hands down, and this might be a little biased, might be a little biased, but I'll get into it. The best song in the game has to be Itadakimasu. I probably butchered that pronunciation, and forgive me if I did, <laughs> but that is probably the best song in the game. It's the song that plays whenever you visit the sushi shop. It is like this really good beat. It has this really good beat. It's this rap song, and it's just extremely good. It is by Akumura. If you're not familiar with Akumura, uh, believe it or not, they are actually the guys responsible for my outro song on this youtube channel so like you know that that it's shifty you know that song that plays at the end of every video that's also my channel trailer it's made by akumura like those guys are just fantastic they're great people uh working with them to get that song was just like really easy and they're, they're the best they're, the, they're awesome people uh and honestly like if you're not familiar with akumura and you like that song i highly recommend you Follow them on Twitter. I'll probably link them on the, on the uh, in the description so you can check them out. Uh, they're coming out with a, an album, I believe, soon, uh, and it's just mind blowing to me. <laughs> like it's absolutely mind blowing to me that I, I went from making a video where I interviewed uh, Mebi, who was uh, you know the the music producer for Travis Strikes Again. They also ended up becoming the music producer for No More Heroes 3, and then Akumura is like in on that you know like akumura ended up working on number heroes 3 and made what i so far believe to be the best song in no more heroes 3 and that's saying something so akumura if you're listening to this good shit seriously good shit i am in i'm extremely impressed with the work you've done 
and I I can't believe that you're in this game, bro. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't believe it. But uh, I think that's all I have for you guys today. The game is fantastic. It's so much fun. And despite the technical shortcomings, I'm able to look past that and play what a game that I, is is just amazing to me. <laughs> it's just extremely good. Uh, let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. Are you playing the game? Are you not? Are you having as much fun as I am? Just let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Shifty. Yeah. Shifty, wanna be yeah. the number one gamer, come yeah. and get me yeah. It'd be dope yeah. if you subscribe, could you yeah. like the vid please yeah. Take yeah. your time, you don't gotta do it swiftly uh -uh. Shifty, yeah. uh -huh. Shifty, wanna yeah. be yeah. the number one gamer, come and get me